Hi, welcome to Africans. I am your Yahoo Rekuma. Today I am going to show you how to play the game Sleepwalk. There are three packets of color chips. They are red, blue and green. Sequence game was invented by Douglas Newton. He spent years developing the concept Sequence can be played with 2 to 12 players. If there are more than 3 players, all players have to be divided evenly into 2 or 3 teams before the start of the game. The game cannot be played with 5, 7 or 11 players. 2 teams players alternate their physical positions with opponents around the playing surface. Positioned at every third player around the playing surface. The game board is placed on a flat surface, such as the floor or a table, with enough room to allow for the game board, the draw deck, the discard pile S, and the marker chips. The jokers, if any, are removed from the deck as they are not used in the game. To decide who goes first, all the cards are shuffled into a single deck. Each player cuts the deck by taking as many cards from the deck as they want, then flips their card stack over. The player with the lowest card becomes the dealer, and the cards are shuffled again. Each player or a team then chooses a set of poker chips. All members of each team share chips of the same color. Blue and green chips are always used, while red chips are only used for three player or three team games. Now let's play the game.
number of cards dealt to each player varies by the number of people playing. Two players, seven cards each. Three or four players, six cards each. Six players, five cards each. Eight or nine players, four cards each. Ten or twelve players, three cards each. Each card is pictured twice on the game board and drags while necessary for game strategy do not appear on the board. The player to the left of the dealer goes first. On their turn, the player chooses a card from their hand to play, then places a market chip on one of the corresponding spaces of the game board. Example, an ace of diamonds is placed from a player's hand. That player places a chip on the ace of diamonds on the board. Jacks have special powers. Two eyed jacks are considered wild cards and may be used to place a chip on any open space on the board. One eyed jacks allow whoever played one to remove an opponent's chip from a space. Players may use the two eyed jacks to complete a row or block an opponent while one eye jacks are removed an opponent's advantage. One eye jacks cannot be used to remove a marker chip that is already part of a completed sequence. Once a sequence is achieved by a player or team, it stands. <coughs> Played card then goes face up into a discard pile. At the end of the turn, the player draws a new card from the draw deck, after which play passes to the player to the left. A player may place chips on either of the appropriate card spaces as long as it is not already covered by a marker chip of any color. If a player has a card which does not have an open space on the game board, the card is considered dead and may be discarded during that player's turn. The player then draws a new card from the draw deck before producing with normal play.
the strategy of this game. Each corner of the board has a free space that all players can use to their advantage. This space acts as if it has a chip of each color on it at all times. To form rows, chips may be placed vertically, horizontally or diagonally. Each complete row of 5 or 4 and a free corner space is counted as a sequence. Sequences of the same color may intersect but only at a single position. Sequence rules detect no table talk or coaching between team members and a precise order in which hands must be played, card, chip, replace card. If a player forgets to replace a card on the turn and if any of the not other players points it out then they cannot make it up in a later one and must continue playing the game with a reduced number of cards. In a two player or two team game, the sequences required to win the game can be made to overlap the each other resulting in two sequences formed by nine chips instead of ten. This is because the rules expectly say that players may use any one of the chips from their own first sequence as part of a second one. A straight row of nine chips also counts as two sequences. In a two player or two team game, the number of sequences needed to win is two. While in a three player or three team game, only one sequence is needed to win the game. If no one in the end manages to make the target number of sequences, the game ends in a draw. If a player makes a sequence of 8 in a row, the game ends.
I won the game. This is how I made the sequence. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. But don't forget to press the bell button. Yeah.